lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. What's up, Rec Tech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. You cooking good stuff on the wild side on a fried. Mm. Oh, wait, no, dude, dude, dude. Friday, Friday's Matt's night. Do, 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 do. You can't steal Matt's. We're on Matt. Are we Matt on Matt's? That would be hysterical. You know you, like, you can't say that if. anymore, right? <laughs> Country Club Bojank Matt Acosta's face. That would be pretty good. That'd be pretty funny. Dang, Jody, what girl is that? Well, if you've, been, if you've been sleeping under a rock for the past week, Woo! this is our new BFG. We're about to load this bad boy up with some half chickens. Mmm. Wait, you mean... A bunch of my friends from Texas chickens? said that half chickens are very Texas. Ooh. Which sounds, sounds about right to me. Ooh, it was the half chickens that you and Colton cooked last night was really good. Yeah, those half chickens were amazing. What's up, everybody? It's Funday Friday. Becky checking in. Hey, 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 Becky! I'm your boy, Jody, the Rec Tech Girls expert, here with my man, Chef Greg, Director of Culinary Innovations. We're being very innovative today. We're going to see how many chickens we can fit on the BFG. So what you got there, Chef? What'd you put them on? So we've got a combination. This is gonna be called Heifer Nova. Ooh. We took about a half a bottle of Heifer Dust and a half a bottle of Casanova's competition rub. We mixed them together and we're gonna give it the Shake Shake. I dig it, I dig it. Jody, how about you? What's you throwing on over uh, here? Duh, Jody's Ace of Persuasion. Yeah. Just doing a uh, hodgepodge of seasonings here. But, Guys, if you uh, didn't join us last week, you missed us unveiling our four new products. The Beast Chuck Wagon BFG, which you just saw in our wild side, uh, which you saw at the beginning of the segment. Uh, we had our first annual Rec Tech Fest. Yeah, that was so much fun. It was amazing. We had about eight to 1,000 people of our, 1,000 of our closest friends with us. So we it unveiled those grills. And family. No, it was awesome. I mean, a couple of them even stayed and helped us do the dishes. Absolutely. That's wanna, family right there. We want to thank a few people. We want to thank Mark Rogers, Jim and Jam Berg, uh, Carrie Chastain, Blaine's Barbecue, uh, the guys at SCA for coming by. Who else came by? Blaine's Barbecue guys. Who Powerhouse. Else? Where? Powerhouse Barbecue. Powerhouse Barbecue. Yep, that's Greg Power. He's actually working today at uh, Academy Sports. Guys, here in Augusta, Georgia, you got to go buy Academy Sports today. They're having half off of their clearance of half off. What? Yes. I swear to God. So if you're in Augusta, Georgia, go buy Academy Sports today. They're having 50% off of all clearance, excluding guns. Try to pick up a couple of those. You can stock up on some B&B one hardwood for your wild side right absolutely, there. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, I bought two reels this morning. Half off. They were awesome. Shout out Academy. Shout out B&B. But yeah, last week... First annual Rec Tech Fest was an absolute success. Uh, thank you everybody for coming out in droves and, and living the Rec Tech lifestyle. Some everybody people on here are saying they still wish they were down here. Well, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Les Burl, shout out Les. We appreciate you coming down, bud. He brought some king cakes and some beer from Louisiana. Some Louisiana beer. It's awesome. <coughs> but it is. What is, uh, what's the, sorry, Jordan. It's all right. Today, guys. James Taylor Day? Is James Taylor Day. We started out our day listening to I've Seen Fire and I've Seen Rain. What other songs by James Taylor? We've heard them all this morning, so we're having a uh, hell of a James Taylor day. Stevie's going to see James Taylor tonight. And Bonnie Ray, right? And Bonnie Ray, right. so that's why today's James Taylor day. It's also National Iowa Day. Woo-hoo! And I want you to go and grab a friend for lunch, because today is National No One Eat Alone Day. I'll eat lunch with you today, Joe. So, if you're out there and you're going to eat lunch alone, I want you to head... Get your ass on up here to the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters, and I want you to eat with us. Because I don't want you eating alone today, because we're all family today. You can eat with a friend, but you get your own half chicken. That's right. You get your literally, you get your own half chicken. Are right, you gonna get the lid and start loading it up? Let's do it. This front shelf is gonna be able to hold that. Awesome. So that whole bottom shelf right there. Wow. 2,500 square inches of cooking surface. This whole bottom grate right here is about 1,000 square inches of cooking surface. We could probably squeeze four, but let's just go three. 
these guys. This guy, this bad boy, comes with a 53 pound hopper. Comes with a six year warranty. It's got two lights on the inside, so you're able to work in the dark. Uh, you're going to be. I tell you what, let's people on this grill. Let's rotate. We did not stage this yet, so let's. Uh, I think we can fit more like this. What? There you go. Even more, Chef. Now, Chef. These don't look like whole chickens to me. What are these? These are half chickens. Okay. So for those uh, out in Texas doing a lot of IBCA events, you have to do a half chicken. Are we going to show the folks today how to do a half chicken? We will absolutely show them how to do a half chicken. Here you go, Chef. Sir, here you go, go sir. Man, these look good. That's a lot of chickens. That's a whole I've already, lot I've of already, chickens. I've already lost count. I've already said that 12 times today. A lot of chicken. That's a whole lot of chickens. We were cutting these chickens. People in the uh, retail area were looking at us like we were slap lost our minds. One those great sure can come out pretty easily. Yes, they're super, super easy to remove and put back in. We also have the rod here. Um, we've actually hit each other with this rod a couple times. Uh, so please, uh, please ignore the sag in it. Um, but you can actually hang your sausages from here as well. This all comes standard on this grill. It's got, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Rachel. It's got the uh, bigger fire pot. It's got the bigger auger motor. A couple of people have asked. It right there is your RT. It recuperates super, super fast. So the recovery rate is nothing on this grill. So we're at two, four, six, eight, ten. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 4, 6, 8, 30, 32. Rack me. And look, 32. there's plenty of room. I can put my fist 32 in the chickens. back of that. Sorry, country. I'm coming on in. 32 half chickens. Know what 32 so far. Look how easy the shelf goes in and goes out. Uh, plenty of space. Locks in. Next pan. Sorry. Come in. Just put it right on top. Uh, it's got juice in it. Oh, sorry. I want to squeeze it out. These chickens are juicy. Thank you, Tyson, for hooking up some chickens. But we actually go. got check it out at rectechgrills.com. We have all the information. The product page is up. There's also financing on this bad boy. You can actually, it's like $53 a month. You can stretch it out. This grill, we've done the, the math, but let me see scientific evidence, the calculations, tray. He's figured it all out. This would be about $53 a month with approval, okay? Mm. So you guys can't afford this grill. It's bad to the bone. You want this grill on your back porch. I know I want it on my back porch, but it would take a crane to physically get it there, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this one. <laughs> Today's not help a friend lift a really big freaking grill on your porch day. So how many are we at, Chef? I lost count. Two, you were at 32 on the second? Hey, 9, 10, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Wow. So that's 48 half chickens. Wow. That's 24 whole chickens. 24 whole chickens. If you're counting. If you're counting. So, I mean, who's counting? We are. I lost count. That's, that's why we did it. Because we want you guys to know. We want you to be educated. You want, we want you to make the right decision. And this grill is the right decision for you. Uh, if you're cooking a lot of food all the time for ball teams, for churches, for, uh, for any, any group, this is the grill. This could be 48 entries into IBCA. So I tell you what, if you want to just win that competition in Texas, cool. Buy 48 spots, yep. get a BFG, cook 48 I guarantee you perfect chickens, I guarantee you're taking one through 48 mm. right there. Mm. And it comes standard with the front folding shelf that's 12 inches that comes out. <laughs> and we hit the also comes standard with the bottom, the competition cart. The competition cart also has storage in it. So we can actually place those extra shelves in that storage with our sear kit, with our smaller shelf, with our larger shelf. All of that stuff will fit in the storage in the competition card. This grill is a big freaking grill, guys. We thought of everything. Big Flanagan grill. Big Flanagan grill. So we'll be back at what time, Jordan? 12 o'clock, 10 we'll minutes. We'll be back at 12. We'll be back in 10 minutes because we started so late. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you at the Rec Tech in 10 Ooh. minutes. Woo. Watch us on Twitter. We're going live there. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. It's already climbing back up. It's a super, super easy. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rick, take wild side. Look at these chickens. They're so pretty. Cooked those yesterday. That's what you could do with these fabulous grills. Mm. You know, I'm thinking yeah, glazing with Moore's and our barbecue sauce was a spectacular idea. It was good. Mixed it 50-50 uh, with that Moore's buffalo wing sauce mm. and then our gourmet barbecue sauce. Awesome. You and Colton did a great job cutting the chicken. No, it wasn't me. Colton. 
one of those two. Awesome. I'm just glad he didn't lose a finger, didn't cut himself, because I don't think I'd want to call up and Ray and say, hey, I was teaching your son how to cut up some chicken, and he lost a finger. <laughs> so, yeah. but Colton crushed it in a good, oh, in a good way. So, we got a new grill. Right, so with the wild side, of course, you can use the rotisserie part of it. It does come with one rotisserie rod, uh, and then um, we're going to say one set of... You get two sets of prongs. Two sets of prongs. Yep. And then you get three weights, except I got one weight already on the grill. Uh, you also get this fancy piece here, and what this will do is it'll set your rotisserie into the carousel so the rod can't slide back and forth. And it's very important to make sure that when you're putting meat uh, on your rod, uh, to make sure it's on there very evenly. You know, that way not to put any strain on the motor, uh, and that way it doesn't flop. Uh, when you get flop, that means the meat is uh, off balance, off balance and uneven. Uh, so you can get quick motions with the rod, which in turn will not cook that side very fast. So it's very important uh, to put your meat evenly uh, on the rod. Absolutely. Or spit. So if you got some, take a look at your chicken. These are some really nice Tyson chickens we picked up. Uh, Sam's Club. Beautiful bird. Yep, these are about five pound birds. And if there's any like loose pieces of fat or extra schmutz, just go ahead and cut it off. Because all it's gonna do is kind of dangle and drag and flop and drip and. Me, I let it get crispy and I'll just peel it off. Well, I had it on there yeah. and then it didn't really look good for a camera. So oh, we no, cut it fine. off. It'll be all right. So, and then you want to kind of secure your legs. So we'll grab a little piece of twine here, and we're just gonna tie these legs up. So you're making it, you're pretty much trying to make your chicken as even as possible by tying those legs up. That way they don't flop around, right, Chef? No doubt. No Keep doubt. Keep it real tight, you know, that way uh, it's much more even on the rod. Yeah, and you want it sliding around. You don't want it to, to flop around, but just a little, a little leg action there. Makes so, it easy. so um, when they're picking these chickens up at the store, are there any other names uh, that these smaller chi whole chickens are going to go by? Well, I mean, you got your bigger ones will be capons, but a lot of these are called fryers. Uh, fryers. Oven stuffers will be will be larger. Um, Oven stuffers. But what we're going to do is chicken. we're going to actually tuck those legs up underneath where that breastplate is. Okay. And that way we've got a really nice aerodynamic chicken because if these are up here like this, what's going to happen is. This is going to be a heavy spot. Correct. Typically, the breast portion is the heavier. So what we're going to do is we're going to tuck those back underneath, and when I put it on the rod, I want to make sure I've got a rod over the leg so that they don't flop around. Very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that chicken right here. Make sure you do not poke yourself in the hand. And what I'll do is I'm going to stick this rod right over top of those legs and push down. And that way, those legs are not going to flop around anywhere. Okay. And so well, and it looks like you're trying to put it on uh, the most center part of the rod. Is that correct? Yeah, chickens yeah. are pretty easy because, you know, it's kind of open in the middle. Um, if you've got prime ribs or larger solid muscles, you want to try to go in the center as possible. But you want to be careful because the center is not always the balance point of the meat. So like the uh, prime rib, on the one side you've got that beautiful cap, that spinalis. You've got the bones or where the bones were on the other side. Correct. So you kind of got to be a little off center. Okay? And, and, then, and then left to right. You're also center in the rod, correct? Absolutely. Cool. And I'll just tuck these wing tips back, and I'll take our second piece here, and what I'll try to do is is basically put these larger prongs right into those wing joints, and that way it won't it won't move around. Okay. It's not a bad idea. See, so I'm gonna go right into the wing bones, right there, and that way those wings are supported. And it's not a bad idea to have a pair of pliers, food safe pliers, to tighten those down. And to check your balance, I've got no weights on here. Spin it in your hands. Is there a heavy spot? And on this bird, because it's one bird, there is. So when your rotisserie is spinning, what's going to happen? You ready? See how it flops over like that? So you want your counterweight to be mounted on the opposite side of that flop. Now, if I have two chickens, like I do over there, I'm going to put the other chicken with legs up. And yep. the two chickens will so offset. They're going to be facing the opposite directions. And then hopefully the, that weight will offset each other, correct? So I'll go ahead and put a weight on here. And I know it's going to be, and if you guys out there have any friends uh, or, or neighbors or relatives that have been having issues uh, loading up their rod for their rotisserie, make sure you share this button and tag them in it in this video. That way they can learn how to do it the proper way uh, on any kind of rotisserie grill. Uh, this applies to all rotisserie grills, guys. So we'll go ahead and put that weight on there, torque it down, and if I spin this rod, see how there's, 
hands. I've got to actually turn it with my fingers. There is no flop. You see, see, the larger part of the chicken is here, and Chef has the weight opposite, pointing in the opposite direction of that larger part. So, so essentially, I'll use this hand as the motor. You see now there's no flop to it. It rotates evenly. Yeah. And that, this right here is really going to help a lot of people out there, Chef. Um, you know, get, get used to and get accustomed to their rotisserie for sure. Absolutely. So we've had these chickens on here for about a, maybe 30 minutes? About 30 minutes, yeah. Right, so we are cooking over a combination. We did, did a bed of lump hardwood. We let that burn for about 40 minutes. We added a couple logs of hickory. We sprayed these chickens down with some duck fat. Oh, these got a ways to go, we'll temp them anyway. But yeah. notice, see how those legs are fixed? They're not flopping around, they're not moving. My wing tips, again, are anchored. They're not flopping around, they're not moving. We season these up with a base coat of Casanova Competition Row. Put a little freaking Greek on top of that, and then just a touch of Dirty Girl. Freaking Greek and weekend. So you, one might say it's a <laughs> dirty freaking Casanova. Dirty, it is in fact. It's a so dirty, if you want to tip it, go ahead and stop Casanova. your rotisserie, and we can come in here That's and rest. The anyway. And again, these are only the about 100, yeah, about 90, Low 90s. Oh, that bullpen. That's quick. That's an instant rate promoter, right, Chef? Absolutely. We'll take these to 165 in the breast, about 170 in the leg and thigh. We've got a great fire going. This is a nice, we'll call lazy fire. We've got our dial set about halfway up on there. And that's just going to maintain a really nice, consistent burn. And, Chef, if you were describing this fire, would you describe it as a small, medium, or large fire? I would say this is probably a medium fire. Okay. Okay, we've got a, a good set of base hot coals, some lump wood that's smoking. I mean, this is and you've got it, to the roots. And you've got it, the, the fire, more center. I and do, And, of course, fact. you have the rotisserie a little bit more off-center. Because really, what you really want to do is do this sort of indirect, right? So, basically, what's happening is as these chickens come around, that fat is going to render off. And then as it continues to roll, all of that chicken fat and juice is going to basically baste that chicken the entire way. Very cool. And then more importantly, there's all those juices on the inside of the cavity that are rolling around the inside of that carcass that's basting that bird from the inside. And that's Ooh. why your rotisserie birds come out super juicy. Good, job. Good tip Great. there. So but you can inject these with butter, Cajun butter. Uh, you can put butter and stuff under the skin. We've got some great videos on YouTube I was just to show about you how to that. do that. Could we do the herb butter trick and put butter up underneath the skin and that Absolutely. would cause any issues or any flare ups or anything? And in maybe about 30 minutes of the cook, you'll actually see that skin start to render out, start to get really crispy, and you'll see it bubble. And you'll actually see the chicken juice and the fat kind of self basting that bird underneath the skin. Um, but again, you can see I've got breast up, and I've got my legs over here. So if, then, you, if you saw your, your chicken cooking you know, a little fast, Essentially, all we would have to do, Chef, is raise this up off of the fire. All you got to right? do is just crank it up. Yeah. If it's burning a little quick, I'll step back behind here. Woo. And then this is the cool thing about uh, another awesome part about the wild side, guys. Interactive. You can, you can walk all the way around it and, and, and use the whole 365, 365 degree area of cooking. But these look great. But again, but, if it's cooking a little slow, cool. Just raise it up, lower it down a little bit. And this bad boy features a six-year warranty, 304 stainless steel internal cooking chamber, 304 stainless steel rotisserie system. It also has a warming uh, area right here. It'll get up to about 250 degrees. It's got the very speed fan. A lot of other uh, Argentinian-style grills out there do not have a fan to help you light the fire or maintain it or anything. This grill would, will work without the, fa without the fan, but the fan uh, just helps us out, correct? And you, absolutely. And you'll see it, too. There's plenty of room underneath chickens. I could cook some sausages, cook some burgers, cook all sorts of stuff. Now it's hot, but look, I got at least four inches in between these chickens, and these are five pound chickens. These aren't small. Very cool. Easily Very cool. cook all sorts of stuff. Put a cast iron pan there, cook some potatoes like we did the other night. Awesome. You cook everything on this grill, start to finish. Sweet, man. All right, guys, we well, just checked out the wild side, uh, and then we loaded up the BFG. Let me show you one more time. Holy Woo. moly. How many chickens is that, Chef? That was 48 half birds, 24 whole chickens. Oh my gosh. Guys, check these out at rectechrolls.com. We'll see you back at 1230. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter when we uh, go off of air here. We'll see you at the Rectech. Mm. Do, do, do. Red cake, life side.
sun is bright on y'all's face. It is bright. It's so bright. It's the sun. It's it's like hey guys on YouTube, thank you for coming. Thank you for not leaving and continuing to watch this whole video. On YouTube? <laughs> Every Monday, like it. we upload our whole episode of Sunday Friday yes. in its entirety without any breaks. So you guys get to enjoy the whole thing front to back. The long way, as Jordan would say. The prize uh, is coming back this week, too. I'm sorry, Jordan? The prize is coming back this week. What prize? Our YouTube giveaway weekly. You oh, gotta watch the video. To you gotta out. watch the video on Mondays to find out, guys, but we will be going back to our YouTube giveaways. So that's Fantastic. a cool announcement. Yeah. Uh, and before Chef gets into butchering this chicken, I also want to remind you guys that we have financing available at rectechgirls.com and make sure you sign up for our newsletter at rectechgirls.com. Also, set your notifications. That way you know when we're going live, okay? Now, Chef, you're going to show these people. Well, hell, we could probably show them how to spatchcock. We could probably show them how to do a half. Sure uh, can. So, uh, sure can. Hell yeah. These chickens are pretty cold. They're still a little icy on the inside. So I always like to put a towel down underneath, and that way, uh, if anything leaks out, it kind of doesn't make a super big mess. Okay. But this is not the time for you to use a dainty little knife, okay? Don't try to spatchcock or cut through the backbone on a little... Right. You want to use a. Um, you want to use like a nice sharp cleaver or nice a larger, sharp. heavier knife because the weight is going to push, help uh, push that through. A lot of the folks out there like uh, the the chicken or kitchen shears. Shears right. work out great for that. If you're going to use shears, put the back one up and just cut right along the backbone. Mm -hmm. I prefer to actually stand that bird up. That way you can hold onto its neck and know exactly where you're going to cut. So basically, oh, I'm just going to take that chicken and push straight down. There you go. Man, that is a sharp knife, chef. Perfect. Saves you a lot of trouble having sure sharp uh, tools, correct? And then I'll just turn the bird a little bit, come on the other side of the uh, backbone. It's like I sent a piece of chicken flying on Country Club's pants. Yeah. But again, you could take this, smoke that off, make some chicken stock. It's oh, fantastic. It's so good. Chicken, homemade chicken stock is so much better than than the store-bought stuff. Absolutely. So much more flavor. So you wanna make a, if you want to make this spatchcock, you can see the breastplate right here. This is a, this take is that knife. part of spatchcocking, guys. Go ahead and notch that breastplate, and that way that bird will sit perfectly flat. So even. So there's your spatchcock. And this is going to cook the most even out of any type of chicken. Absolutely. Um, I mean, and then when you cut it in half, mm -hmm. it cooks even more even. So if you want to do half birds, you already made that cut right through the breastplate. Just grab that knife. So is this the pretty much the way that they do it for competition, Chef? Uh, I'm sure everybody's got their own little way. They might be a little care more careful with the skin and whatnot, but yeah, if you use a knife or if you use uh, shears, there you go. And you can clean it up if there's a uh, you know, you say the last piece over the fence, which is my favorite. <laughs> That's it. Tail. Yep. <laughs> Again, these were uh, wogs without giblets. Without giblets chickens. These are about five pound of fryers. Uh, thank you to the Tyson Company for hooking these up to us. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, if you guys missed Wednesday, missed our after hours, you missed some amazing cow cattle company beef. Oh my gosh, we cooked a tomahawk ribeye. Mm. Uh, we also made um, some American American Wagyu burgers. Those burgers were legit. Oh man. And then they also sent us a tri-tip that the marbling on that thing was, oh, it was absolutely amazing. But I do want to send a shout out and a thank you to the Cow Cattle Company for sending that to us. Uh, we look forward uh, to uh, partnering up with you guys in the near future. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Your meat was absolutely amazing. And Gordon Ramsay. I mean, even said that it is hands down the best Wagyu he has had outside of Japan. I'm excited to try that tri-tip. Mm -hmm. That yeah. thing looks, tri we're, we're gonna it looked legit. Yeah. And how are we going to do that? I think we're going to have to reverse sear that. Right. Or... No, we got to do a reverse sear because people are always asking about the reverse sear, man. Or we get some more and we do it on the wild side. Oh. Woo. Rotisserie style? Or hot fast style? No, I'm thinking low and slow. Low I'm and thinking slow. put it put it over the, the hot coals, let it kind of... Soak up all that delicious flavor for about an hour, hour and a half. That's an experiment worth doing. We're almost cooking scientists, Chef. Cooking science. I mean, cooking is science. Cooking is science. But again, I there's feel, a lot of, a lot of chunky right fat. Now. We'll just take that off. Well, I mean, you are an expert. Well, anything so. you do over 10,000 hours, you are considered an expert. And I know I've cooked over these grills for over 10,000 hours. Oh, easy. On YouTube alone, my friend, you have cooked <laughs> over 10,000 hours. And this is episode 81 of Funday Friday. We've done this 81 Fridays in a row. Wow. That's, That's over a year. That's amazing. I can't, oh man, the the, the ideas and how, the wheels are spinning for episode, episode 100. I cannot wait. It'll be in June, the perfect grilling, smoking, getting together. It's the perfect asado weather. You know what I'm saying? Do a little dirty Asian on this? 
they were kicking around <laughs> some ideas, perhaps, perhaps, I want to say it one more time, perhaps, for some memorabilia, right? Memorabilia, oh, that would be really cool to get some Fun Day Friday 100th episode shirts going. That's what I'm saying. Put in the comment section if you want a Fun Day Friday shirt, and I'll get it, I might get it going. I also want to do that hot dog shirt. Matt, send that hot dog thing to, to Patrick seriously. <clears throat> Because I, I am going to get one of those made, and we're going to do pre-orders for that one. So, is that the bad hot dog? Yeah, yeah. The, nice. I will be uh, wearing a shirt here soon that we will be taking. Me, personally, I will be taking pre-orders for uh, because I want to get it made, and I know other people are going to love it. No too. promises on that official memorabilia, though. Just for the record. Ryan, Ryan Wall says he's seen all 81 episodes. What, nice. Ryan? You son of a gun. That's what I want. Thank I want to so hear much. who else has seen so all 81. He definitely needs that t-shirt. Yeah. If you've, seen, if you've seen all 100 episodes, you have to buy... A like Funday Friday 100th episode. I'm sure you're buying one. <laughs> chef just asked I'm me buying if, I one? To, if I wanted to pull it. You got your right, Chef. So we got 48. Right? Yeah, the dirty persuasion. We got 48 half chickens on the BFG. All right, see, so, uh, this is a little chef tip I want to show you guys. When If you're seasoning on your grill, you know, you can't get back there. Take this guy right there. Oh, look at that. And it fits right up, and you can fit right up underneath there. You just look at me. Just look at it. Just look at it. You guys follow Ed Bass, Bassmaster on YouTube. Uh, he's part of the Rectech family as well. Uh, and so I wanna, what, what seasons are you going there, Jody? We are doing the Dirty Persuasion. So we're going Asian Persuasion first, then we're going Dirty Girl on top. A little sweet heat and Asian flair. But if you guys are in Atlanta this weekend, uh -huh. General Manager Ben, myself, Ron, and Country Club are yeah. actually going to go see Burt Kreischer yeah. this weekend. So a, here's the thing. A though. hugely famous comedian who has our grill. So if you see Country Club out there, if you, see Country you might not know what Country Club looks it's gonna like. It's going to be his birthday. So hold on. Come here. Come here. Let me see the, me see the camera. The weekend. So when you see this guy right Wait, there. you can't turn around. Go ahead. <laughs> when yeah, you see you that can. guy right there, you walk up to him in Atlanta. You pinch him in the tushy. No, push him in the tushy. You might when you give him. You, sing, you pinch him in the butt. You sing "Happy Birthday" to Country Club. Chef, <laughs> we got you bullseye. Chef Greg and myself will front it. You pinch Country Club's butt while he's yeah. in Atlanta this weekend. You get it on camera. You win yourself a Rec Tech bullseye. Yeah. Happy Birthday, Country Club. I think is he. Look for him. Thanks, he's gonna guys. be the the dashingly handsome Stop. man. And I Atlanta. think he's for all those Rec Tech ladies out there. Is he available? Is he available? He might, he might be yes. available. Just saying. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, college graduate. He's so, he's so I'm dying right. College graduate. Oh, drives college a very nice truck. He's got a good has family. Has a great job. Great family. Family oh, man. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, great great mom and And he's it. handsome. He's also a businessman, an entrepreneur. Yeah. Bucks and bows. I mean, these fingers, I could just list them off. He's, he's checking off the list, ladies. But... Uh, let's go over here to the wild side. The wild side is one of our newest models of grills. So we've got a we've got a bed of hardwood with a couple of chunks of hickory. Oh, we've got two rotisserie good. spits going because check it out, there's enough room for plenty of chickens. Yep. A little hot back here, but guys, these will be available for you. It comes with one rotisserie, but you will be able to purchase more than one rotisserie. You also we got a lot of room back there, Greg. Right? There's also a lot of room, correct, buddy? So we could be doing hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken breast, pork chops, all steak, sorts all sorts of stuff. Mm. And then we have 48 half chickens Come in the on BFG. over here, guys. Mm. This is the BFG. All these grills are available at rectechgrills.com. That's R-E-C-T-E-C-G-R-I-L-L-S.com. It's this easy to lift 48 that lid up. 48 half chickens. 48 half chickens. And they're going to cook evenly. The one in the back uh, right corner is going to cook just as quick as the one in the bottom left corner. Okay? And we proved that when we threw 30 uh, averaged 10-pound pork butts on there, about 300 pounds of pork on here. And the front cooked just as evenly as the back, it's just as evenly as the left and the right. He's smiling. I think the ladies are talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the ladies are talking to him. You know what Somebody I'm said that whoever, whatever girl has like a rec tech, that's the girl for me. Absolutely, uh, she's got to right. be in the right well, That's a requirement in order Absolutely. to date. She must be able to smoke. You can send your. <laughs> uh, she's got to be smoking, and she must be able to smoke. There it is. Right? Go ahead and send the application here to rectangrolls.com. All right, so when we go off air here, we'll be going live on Twitter, and then you guys can join us for the final segment. Just set your notifications. We Just set your notifications. We don't tell you when we're going to in the final segment. Mm -mm. That way, uh, we, we get you to come back. Absolutely. 
Uh, so we will see you at the Rec Tech. Make sure you set your notifications. That way you know when we're going live, Rec Tech Nation. Thank you so much. Huge Friday today. Lots of chickens. That's a whole lot of chickens. Sounds like somebody's getting a tattoo back do, there. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Tattoo. Whoa. Mm. Wait, what? Rec Tech Tattoo? Yeah. Ben! Ben, show me your Rec Tech Tattoo. Can you see Ben's Rec Tech tattoo? Woo! Woo! Yeah. Fancy. You didn't think we were going to do that, to, did you? Mm-mm. Uh, uh, I don't even want to get this conversation started. Oh, we just had it. Because every time I bring up the Rec Tech tattoo conversation, Ray says, hey, remember that one time that I said, yes, you can get one. And then we said, oh, let's all meet up at the tattoo parlor. And then miraculously, I just didn't show up. Mm. Uh, Jody, back so now. He always brings up that story. Well, what had happened was. What had happened? <laughs> so on the way to the tattoo parlor, I ran into my wife at a restaurant, and and I said, "Hey, I'm gonna get a tattoo. I'm gonna go get a tattoo." And she says, "Do what now, huh? Do what now, huh? That's a southern word um, <laughs> for folks up north and out west. Uh, that means, huh?" <laughs> Um, and, uh, you know, she was, she was pretty appalled, upset. It was near her birthday. Mm. Um, so that was not the best point in time, uh, to get a forever stamp on, uh, uh this body. Where, where would the, where would a forever stamp? Be? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. A lot of folks don't, don't know that about me, but I did get the rec tech tattoo on my belly. Like Adam Levine. A little sore. It is still sore. I'm still putting, uh, uh, Aquaphor on it. A lot of folks, a little ointment. A lot, funny, funny story. A lot of folks don't know that my my son's first word was aquaphor. Um, right, right. That's a weird thing. <laughs> it's for your tattoos. Break uh, arms, check in. Hey Ray, but literally John Dillon's first word was aquaphor because we always used it on his bottom. Um, we used it on his bottom because he used to get rashes and stuff. So. What's, what's so, that underneath? Right episode there, 81 of Funday Friday there you go, Greg. is going to be <laughs> down in the history books. 80, 81 of anything. I got, a, I got my first Rec Tech tattoo. You got to take care of it. It's an investment. Right, Rhett? <laughs> so what are we cutting up over there, Chef? So we cook these chickens on the brand new Rec Tech Wild Side. We set these over hickory wood. We cook these for about 2 hours, 20 minutes. Super tender. Nicely smoked. Mm. This meat just, just fall off the bone. Mm. Now the, the oh, best, best part of the chicken is rotisserie chicken, right? Oh yeah, no doubt. And the best part of the chicken, right back in here, the oyster and all of those little goodies right there. This is like that's the best. And you say oyster because um, it looks like an it oyster. looks like a little oyster, but it is you know legitimately a tender muscle that oh, is yeah. used um, by the wings, or is it the breast? Well, this one's gonna be underneath the the hip. The hip, so it's going to be more. Uh, so we'll make you leg a, a chicken oyster slider. Oh, thank you, sir. I think I'll dive into one of those too. And then we also have uh, some of this uh, leftover. I just, I goodness. just kind of scraped the board. He scraped the board. We got a little bit of leftover goodness. A little drippage. Mm. A little drippage. Cheers, buddy. Dinky. Ooh, that's a dunker, right? A little dinky dinky. Cheers, buddy. I'll see you. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. So good, very good. So we had 48 half chickens mm -hmm. on the BFG. Uh, at the end of the show, we had three rotisserie chickens mm -hmm. on the new wild side, and uh, we built a medium-sized fire. We correct? did mm -hmm. using hickory wood, and there's still a nice smoke ring underneath that skin. Yeah, even yeah. though we look yeah. how juicy that even is. Even though too. it's right over a fire. Look at that. Mm. All that moisture right there. Just drip. Ray always says the food is the star, and I really want you guys to see mm. these morning? chickens as well. The skin is beautiful. It's a beautiful color, mm. um, but the moisture. We Country. glaze Get these chickens with our. I mean, just the balls. moisture that is coming out of that. Look at this. The moisture in these chickens is just—it's just absolutely amazing. Cut this bad boy in half, Chef. Love to, my friend. People are getting worried, Jody. They see that sickle and hammer. You want to tell them what that's about? <laughs> They're calling you a socialist. Man, please explain the sickle and hammer. We're going to the Burt Kreischer Show this weekend in Atlanta at the Tabernacle. He's part of the Rec Tech family. You guys look him up on uh, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, he is mainstream. He is a huge 
Help yourself, sir. Oh, huge, right. huge comic uh, out there uh, in America nowadays. <laughs> and the sickle and hammer is a part of one of his best jokes, in my opinion. His nickname is The Machine. And if you just look, go to YouTube, just type in Burt Kreischer, The Machine, the whole Russian theme to that joke is really hilarious. Yeah, it's awesome. But good. We're doing it all in good fun because we're going to gonna go see our buddy Burt. And it's uh, Country Club's birthday. This and it's Country Club's birthday, so we're trying to act a fool. <laughs> you know, we're trying to be young at heart. If you're in Atlanta this weekend, you may or may not find us at the... Claremont, <coughs> Claremont Lounge. So um, find Country Club, give them a little pinch on the tushy. If you give you them a little bullseye. pinch on the butt, mm. if you find us, you pinch Country Club's little booty, you could win yourself a Rectech bullseye. Chef Greg and myself are fronting that bullseye. We're buying it together just for you. So if you see Country Club in Atlanta this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, that's when we're staying there. I know uh, we're staying at the... Where are we, ben, where are we staying at? Where are we staying at? We're staying at the Weston in Atlanta. The Sundial. Just, the Sundial. So just to give you a little idea of where he will be. Kinda, Country Club's face is a little bit... I know he's wearing a red shirt today. Yep. But his Yonkin's face is a little bit But we will be at the Tabernacle at the 10 o'clock show. For the 10 o'clock Burt Chrysler show this weekend in Atlanta. Uh, we did want to make that very, very clear to everyone. But you could win yourself a Rectech Bullseye. Uh, how, time attempt, Chef, on uh, these chickens that were So we were, we were over the... Wild side. Uh, absolutely. We did a medium fire over there. We're about eight inches over the coals. We let those go about two hours, 20 minutes. They tempt right at about 165, 170 in the thigh. Okay. And then on our half chickens, we went 325. On the BFG? On the BFG. We're about 85 minutes. Okay. And then again, temping uh, beautifully, about 165 in the breast. A little bit higher in the leg and thigh, but look at that caramelization. No, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that color. There's a beautiful color. We also yeah. cooked some chickens on the RT 700 as well as the uh, RT uh, R uh, the B bullseye B380. B380. Excuse me. Last night. So make sure you check our Facebook page uh, for that post. Look at how tender well. this is. These wings. Oh my just goodness. Just come. The bones come right out. Oh my heavens. That is like, some great fire. And then you can learn how to build a medium-sized fire on YouTube if you just search for how to build a fire rec tech. Uh, where Chef Greg actually shows you how to build a fire in that new wild size. So that's an awesome video. We've got a lot of really cool videos coming There's out. There's a lot soon. of videos. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you like us on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all of those good things. Pinterest. What else, Jordan? Uh, we're on Pinterest, Snapchat, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, guys. Don't forget, don't forget about Dirty Girl, uh, Chef Greg. One of those uh, Dirty Girl, uh, Bloody Mary, uh, the other one, no, the new label. Sorry, very first one. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> don't forget about Dirty Girl, uh, DGMixers.com or .net. Uh, yeah. Available on Amazon as yeah, well. Available on Amazon, but DGMixers.net. Make sure you check that out. There is uh, three versions of the Bloody Mary mix, which is com comparable to the Bloody Mary rub, but much better. We use it the for, horseradish one is so no, it's good awesome. We use it marinades. for spaghetti, marinades, uh, marinara sauce. We use it for anything that has a red sauce. It's absolutely amazing. And don't forget about the only aged olive juice. Literally, the, the only market. aged olive juice on the market is aged ten months. And that olive juice, the aging is actually going to give you a much better flavor. Oh, yeah. Makes your martinis much much better. What else is uh, made with olive juice, Jordan? I'm making anyway, a fantastic with Greek vinaigrette. There we go. I was just salad. about to say, there's other food items that you can actually yep. make with this olive Absolutely. juice. Absolutely. Um, so that is awesome too. So check out dgmixers.net. Uh, that is our sister company. We actually mm -hmm. absolutely love a dirty girl. So, mwah. Mwah. Not a dirty girl, but the dirty girl. Sorry, everybody. Be. One and only. Cheese and crackers. Don't we have some teams at a very popular barbecue competition? Oh, man, that's right. This weekend, we want to send much love and many, many shout-outs and good luck to all of our teams competing in the KCBS uh, Invitational this weekend in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, Car I know Carrie Chastain is traveling out there. I know Tony Olive's out there. Um, we also have uh, not Wally Jarrett. But uh, another Jarrett out there uh, traveling to Arkansas. So we wish you guys luck. Uh, thank you so much for repping the Rectech brand. Um, but that is the competition that is going on this weekend for sure. Uh, there's also a few competitions going out in Texas. So we wish uh, everybody out uh, in Texas luck for that. Um, but last week's first annual Rectech Fest.
it was an epic, epic party. We thank all of our Rectech families for showing out droves. There was between 800 and 1,000 people uh, that showed up. They sure ate like 1,000 people. Yeah, no, they, they ate like 1,500 people. True. Um, but it was an amazing turnout. Thank you to everyone that came out to watch us unveil the 40 products, the Chuck Wagon, Beast, Wild Side, which we cooked the chicken on, and then the BFG, which we also cooked the half chicken on, yep. which fit 48 half chickens. That's 24 whole chickens. That's a lot of chicken. Absolutely. That's a lot Both of those new grills come with a six-year warranty. Uh, all four of those grills actually come with a six-year warranty. Um, so that is the longest warranty in the industry, um, and we want to make that known for sure. All of them come with that Wi pellet, Wi Fi connectivity, uh, smart grill technology. So it's going to hold a temperature good and strong for you. Uh, you don't have to worry about any fluctuations up and down. Easiest like grill you've ever used, right? Absolutely. Easiest grill you've ever used. And, and uh, we had our, a good friend of us, Chip, uh, show up today. He's a, a real tree outfitters pro, um, and he's a, a brain tumor survivor. Um, so uh, we thank you so much, Chip, for coming out and hanging out with us today. He actually has a trailblazer, which, uh, being a brain tumor survivor, you know, um, it is tough for him to open up and close the lid. And he said that the trailblazer was the easiest uh, grill for him. To and he use. loves to be able to turn the grill off and on and monitor the cook from his phone. From his phone, mm -hmm. that was Super the coolest cool. thing. So. so they drove away. They drove out of here with I think a bull in the back of the truck. That's right. They've got a um, a benefit here coming up in the next couple weekends and. Um, we wish them nothing but luck. Thank you so much, Chip, uh, for coming and hanging out with us today. Um, but for Chef Greg and myself, thank you guys for hanging out with us on Funday Friday. Don't forget, we've got uh, after hours on Wednesdays. we got Mail Day Monday. Uh, so make sure you follow us on all social media and set your notifications. That way you know when we're going live. Thank you so much, Rec Tech Nation. We will see, you see you guys at the Rec Tech. Tech. Make sure you, uh, and YouTubers, thank you so much. Don't forget, we've got the contest coming up. Do, 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 chicken is so good. Do, do, do.